Hi everyone, so today's positivity topic is how to clean your space using different elements. So some, uh, I, I won't cover everything but we'll try. Okay, so some elements are very easy, especially water, we use it every day to clean our dishes, to clean our body, you know, water, you know, having a dip in the river, the rain water cleanses the universe, um, cleaning your floors, so everything, so water is something we use all the time. Fire, not so much, you know, we just, uh, sometimes Hindus do it, they take the fire and then they, you know, get that energy towards themselves. Or... Uh, uh, Christians we do it by like you know Christians do it by even Catholics lighting candles so when you go to holy places like church or temple in the temples you will see a deepa you know a clay little lamp fire lamp so some people prefer burning those lamps in their house you know so the fire cleanse and even burning our candles for the ancestors so Catholics do that you know in gra on graves on holy places like the church and all you see candles representing fire isn't it when we do a nercha means uh, what do you call wow or something like you know you put the donation money in the donation box you pray and then you burn a candle so that's all you know we are subconsciously doing spiritual things isn't it to reap spiritual benefits when you go to a church or temple and all those acts so they are from ancient times onwards they're practiced so that's uh, something with fire, you know, they call Deebam, Deebam in the night, calling light, light. So those energies, you know, so your aura, you know, you have a little bit of aura sticking out of your body. So you can cleanse your aura also by putting it near the fire. That's what people use fire even to purify it, to purify food, to cook food, to make it more pure, you know, certain metals to make it more pure. So th that's called the Agni Parikshna. Agni means fire. So that's the fire cleansing. Okay. Then you have the smoke cleansing. So smoke cleansing is also used even uh, in churches. Like, you know, when you go to holy places or uh, temples, they burn the sambrani. Sambrani is very good because they even burn it like for about 11 days or so, isn't it? Once somebody dies, if a person... And now with the pandemic and corona, so many people are dying and passing away. So much of that energy. So when you want to clear, clear your space, clear your house, every holy place, temples, churches, they all smoke, isn't it? Especially when there's a death or something happening or you hear some news or somebody passes away, you smoke up to 11 days to get rid of that energy, to clear your space. So always put those things to you. So that's a smoke. You know, I think in churches, mostly they use frankincense or lomban. Sambrani is very good, you know, especially when people pass away. That's what they use, sambrani, to smoke up the whole thing. Or you can even burn camphor, you know, that smoke is also good. Or incense is not that effective, like the stick incenses, but you're better off using the natural ones, you know. So I to just smoke my house full. Now, these days it's not practical because you have the smoke alarms and things like that. But, you know, it's still things that, you know, even Arabic people, they do it. Arabic people, they use the attar and a lot of kolongsi. So this is from an Arabic shop that I got. So it just lies there, you know, and you smoke it. Just be careful because in the modern world, we have these smoke alarms and things making it more difficult for us to go to the olden days of ancient practices but in holy places and all this still there it's just for those energies you know so uh, to clear up your space to clear up your energies so how many of you are doing it still these days i know a lot of arabic people do it hindus they practice it in certain ways christians also but except maybe in church and all you see it you know but uh, not a lot in homes these days so yeah so you know don't condemn one religion over another because everybody is still practicing spiritual things and they're all uh, interrelated and similar in so many ways isn't it you can't just say one religion is doing something one way but the other one is also doing similar things in similar ways okay so yeah so this is about cleansing how to cleanse your space what do you do to cleanse your space your surroundings spiritually do let us know Take care. Bye.